बम का पुत्र का है क्रोध लोभ सब जग से मिटा के शुद्ध प्रेम का रस बरसाए क्रोध लोभ सब जग से मिटा के शुद्ध प्रेम का रस बरसाए भक्त करे हर वर्ष स्वागतम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुरु मे Our story begins at the highest peak of the Himalayan range, Mount Kailash. Here lives Ganesh's father, Lord Shiv Shankar, and his mother, Parvati, along with Lord Shiva's most trusted companions, Nandi and his formidable army. And here begins the story of our darling little Bal Ganesh. One day Mother Parvati summoned Nandi Lord Shiva's most trusted companion and said to him Nandi I'm just going into the palace to bathe Do not let anyone into the palace until I give you further instructions As you wish mother things bhulenath let me pass nandi i need to enter the palace forgive me my lord but mother parvati has forbidden me from allowing anyone into the palace don't be foolish that instruction is for other people you know that i am her lawful husband let me pass
पार्वती Did you manage to enter? Did Nandi stop you? My dear, he is my trusted devotee. He wouldn't have the courage to try and stop me. But I had told him to stand guard outside. He should not have disobeyed my instructions in this manner, my lord. But Parvati, I am your husband. What's the point in stopping me? What you are saying is right, my lord. But for Nandi to disregard my orders so blatantly is unacceptable. Don't be angry, my dear. You must forgive him. You know he's a little dull in the head. No. What Nandi has done is not right. But what could he have done anyway? He loves his master. He wouldn't dare try and stop him entering his own house. I need someone who's intelligent, brave and strong and will obey my orders without exception. I shall have to create this person myself.
could be hiding anywhere. Yes, you're right. Keep a straight watch out for him. He will pop out of nowhere all of a sudden. <laughs> no way. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Are you all right? <clears throat> Ganesh? Ganesh, my son? Yes, mother. Dear Ganesh, what is it, mother? Listen, my son, it's time for my bath and I'm going inside to bathe. I want you to stand by the door and until I give you instructions, you must not let anyone enter. As you wish, mother, I shall not let anyone enter the house. You can have your bath in peace. You won't start playing and forget what I said, right? No, mother, don't you worry at all. A stick? This will be good. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord, but I cannot allow you to enter. My dear boy, who are you, by the way? And why do you prevent me from entering the palace? I am Gauri's son, Ganesh. And I am following my mother's strict orders. She has told me that, unless she tells me, I am not to allow anyone to enter the house. Gauri's son? Then those instructions are not applicable for me. Because I am Gauri's husband, Shiv Shankar. Huh? Now step aside and let me pass. Certainly not. Unless I receive orders from my mother, I cannot let anyone pass through. Don't be adamant, my dear boy. Move out of the way. That is not possible. Look, you have no idea how angry I can get. Move out of the way or the consequences won't be good. No matter what the consequences. You see, the sun may rise in the west. The moon may change its direction. But I will follow my dharma and not move from here. Foolish boy. <laughs> Stay calm. Stay calm, my lord. He's just a little boy. Let me try and make him understand the situation. If he still doesn't understand, then forcefully remove him. Ganesh, my boy, you haven't experienced the wrath of my master. Don't try to frighten me. If you have the guts, then move me from here. Do not try and provoke me, boy. <laughs> You are nothing but a coward. Is that what you think? Then let's see you fight me. Commander, immediately take your men along with you and go and teach that boy a lesson. As you command, my lord. Let's go. There he is. Oh! <laughs> 
Lord Shankar has been blinded by his wrath and is causing calamity. Instead of trying to make little Ganesh understand with love, he has sent an army of soldiers to fight and defeat him. I shall certainly have to intervene. Stop! What is this foolishness? One harmless little boy versus so many seasoned soldiers. Go away. <laughs> Ganesh, my boy, you two should not be so very stubborn. It isn't me, but father who's being stubborn. You must obey your father, my child. Now move out of the way. If I obey my father's orders, then what about my mother's orders, Lord Brahma? And what my mother tells me to do, I will never ever disobey. Do not be stubborn. You should respect your elders. Now step aside from the door. My mother holds the most important place in my heart. I will not move. I shall have to use other tactics to get him to move. Or else, if Lord Shankar loses his temper, there will be disaster. Look here, my son. If you listen to me, I shall reward you handsomely. Are you trying to pacify me by tempting me with a reward? That doesn't suit you, Lord Brahma. Don't try and teach me. Step aside or else. So now you're trying to threaten me, but I'm not going to be afraid of you. I shall have to use force to get him under control. You will have to be punished. Using the Brahmastra on this child won't be wise.
A terrible disaster is about to take place. What do you mean, my lord? Why do you seem upset? I hope all is well. My dear, Lord Shankar is at the peak of his anger and he is dancing the dance of death. Shiv Shankar is dancing the dance of death? Oh no, then there is certainly going to be a terrible calamity. Indeed, we will have to go to Mount Kailash immediately to calm him down. My lord, I too would like to go with you. That way, I will get to meet my sister Parvati. you have done my lord consumed with anger you killed your own son and all your pantheon of gods stood by without intervening and watched him commit this crime none of you felt pity for this innocent child was it so important to your ego to prove your metal against a mere child and gather all the gods to witness it speak up haven't you got anything to say? Has your anger been quenched by taking the life of a young innocent boy? If it hasn't, then go ahead and kill me as well. I want my son back, alive. You will have to bring him back to life, my lord. Or else I too shall give up my life right here and now. Do you realize what you are saying, Parvati? I am only seeking justice. My son was innocent. He was merely following my orders. Forgive me, my dear, but that is impossible. Then it is impossible for me too to stay alive. If my son is not brought back to life this very instant, then I too shall sacrifice my life. Consumed with anger? You took the life of your own son, Bholenath. Now you shall have to comply with Parvati's demands and bring the young Ganesh back to life at once. If not, the fire of her anger will destroy the entire universe. Actually, Parvati's persistence is not without good reason. In anger, you have committed a very improper deed and this is the only way to make up for it, Bholenath. You must abandon your ego and concede to the wish of Goddess Parvati Bholenath. That is not possible. The head that has been once separated from the body by my weapon cannot be joined back to the body again. Then there is only one way out. You will have to find the head of another child that has not been struck by your weapon and attach it to the body of Baal Ganesh. Do not waste any more time thinking about it. Give the orders to your men at once. Go. Go and bring back the head of another child whose face points towards the north and whose mother is sleeping with her back towards him. Now leave. 
As you command, my lord. Do not waste time. If we delay any further, he will never come back to life. It will be done. Let's go. Silly fools! What is this you have brought? My lord, as per the instructions you gave us, this is the only head of a child we could find. That is why we brought it along with us. An elephant head? We do not have the time for any more discussion. Attach this head to the body of the child and bring him back to life. Son is back. You have indeed brought him back to life, my lord. But when people see his appearance, they are going to laugh and make fun of him. Don't worry, my dear. Nothing like that will happen to him. I shall bestow him with my blessings, that people may worship him for generations to come. This unique child will look after the welfare of the people.
will give him my blessings. That whenever there is an auspicious occasion, the first thing people will do is offer prayers to Lord Ganesh. This child shall be the giver of knowledge and wisdom. His image will be put up in every home and temple. People will give him offerings of sweet modas. Our son will be extremely strong and intelligent. From this day onwards, I appoint him chief of my warrior army. Mother, I'm starving. May I have something to eat? Here you go, son. Have some fruit. I don't want to eat fruits. I want some modak. Naughty little Ganesh. How many modaks are you going to eat? Here you go. Just two? These will be mere starters. <laughs> oh, very well. Here's two more. Enough? And what about Mushak? I can't just let him stare at me while I eat. Does Mushak like modak too? Aha! Yes, yes! Okay, take these. No, Mushak, you should eat fruits. If you eat too many sweets, you will turn fat and won't be able to run around. Yes, we cannot let him come to any harm. Nandi, my friend, I've heard you're very clever. 
Uh, that I am. I have a question for you. Sure, sure. Go ahead. But if you cannot answer my question, you will mount me on your back and give me a joy ride. I doubt that will happen. All right. So tell me, you see that mouse in the red waistcoat? How many hair does he have on his body? Um, hair on his body. Um, um, I don't think I know the answer. Can you tell me how many? Of course, I know how many. He's got ten thousand million hairs on his body. Uh, really? You don't believe me, do you? Then you count. Um, um, count the hair. Um, he's right, actually. Get off Nandi's bag, Ganesh ji. <laughs> Apart from your father, Lord Shiva, he doesn't allow anyone else to mount him at all. <laughs> pa Ganesh, little Ganesh. <laughs> hey, Narad Muni has just brought your mother Parvati a whole bunch of modaks. Really? Yes, but your mother Parvati told me that she was going to hide them from you, or you would finish them off in one go. Hmm. Let's go find them. Hmm. <laughs> Up there. Why don't I climb on your back and give it a try? Okay. Climb up. Dogs were dropped by Mushak. He was the one who climbed up there. How could I do it? My hand would never reach so high. Hmm. The two of you are always up to mischief. Managed to get at least two. Huh? Hmm. Ah! You naughty little fellow. Hmm? What's this? I couldn't help it, mother. You know by now, don't you? How much I love Mudaks. <laughs> I know. I should have guessed.
शंकर जी का डमरू बाजे पार्वती का नंदन नाचे शंकर जी का डमरू बाजे पार्वती का नंदन नाचे बर्फीले कैलाश शिखर पर जय गणेश की धूम अजय हो अजय हो अजय हो अजय हो अजय हो शंकर जी का डमरू बाजे पार्वती का नंदन नाचे बर्फीले कैलाश शिखर पर जय गणेश की धूम मूषक गण सब भागे हैं सरपट हो मन मोहक मन भावन नटकट मूषक गण सब भागे हैं सरपट विघ्न विनायक संकट मोचन वक्र तुंड कजरारे लोचन झूमे गाय बाल गणेश भक्त जनों के कटे कलेश इतना ज्यादा शोर पार्वती आई उस ओर डरकर माता उमा के आगे दुम दबाकर मूषक भागे पर अपनी धुन में मस्त गजानन थिरक रहे हैं भूल के तनवन Ganesh, what's going on here? Don't make such a racket. Your father is trying to focus on his meditation. You will distract him unnecessarily. As you say, mother. Oh, and please do not play with his things. He will get very angry with you. Alak Niranjan Alak Niranjan Greetings holy one Blessings be upon you I have come to pay respects to your father Lord Shiva Forgive me holy one he is in deep meditation meeting him right now is not possible I have traveled a long way with an urgent message for him It's extremely important that I see him If he is disturbed during meditation he gets very angry please come some other time You are insulting a guest my boy Whatever happens I will meet Bhulenat without fail That is impossible oh holy one You foolish little child it seems you've not heard of the wrath of Parshuram I'm not afraid of your threats I think it would be best if you leave at once This is a gross insult Until now not even the gods have had the audacity to be disrespectful towards me But I have the courage to face up to you Try me Ugh. Don't take another step Ugh. Ugh. 
You're invincible, do you? Now let's see you face this weapon. Bal Ganesh focused on Lord Shiva's face and was struck on the teeth by Parshuram's weapon. <laughs> Parshuram! Forgive me, Bholinath. Forgive me. I got carried away with my anger and made a big mistake. So much anger? You meditate, don't you? Is this what your meditation teaches you? That you attack little innocent children? Mother Parvati, please have pity on me. I admit I've made a grave mistake. Forgive me, Mother. Forgive me, please. Offering me your forgiveness, Parshuram, is not going to fix my son's tooth back, is it? It may not get fixed back, mother. But this broken tooth will not go to waste either. And since then, Bal Ganesh was also nicknamed Ekdan. The tales of Ganesh's intelligence, astuteness and fearless courage are filled in the pages of the holy books and scriptures. Among those many tales is the birth of the river Kaveri. You're going to love watching this one. One day, a demon named Surkdaman pleased Lord Shiva with his intense meditation. I am pleased with your meditation, Surkdaman. Go on. What blessing would you like me to give you? Long live Polenad! I am fortunate to be graced by your presence. I request you to bless me and make me invincible. No one should be able to defeat me. So shall it be. <laughs> I am invincible. No one will be able to withstand my strength. Now not even the gods will dare to stop me! <laughs> Unfortunately, the gods began to suffer as a result of Lord Shiva's boon. Surk Daman attacked the gods and took them as prisoners. Indradev was lucky to escape with his life. Oh, King of Demons, we have captured all the gods. Only Indradev has managed to escape. 
It is believed that he is hiding somewhere in the southern mountains. Find him and take him captive too. I am going towards Mount Kailash to meet my mentor, Lord Shiva. Where do you think you're going, Varun Dev? If you value your life at all, you will stop right there. Uh, I am not going to make you my prisoner. Uh, really? <laughs> if you do not wish to be my slave like all the other gods, then you have to do me a favor. Favor? What do you mean? Fearing the impact of my fury, Indradev has fled to the mountains in the south. The citizens of the south, by offering him refuge, have betrayed me. They will have to pay for this. You must not allow a single cloud to go in that direction. They are not to receive even a single drop of rain. When they start dying of thirst, I will get the custody of Lord Indra. Do exactly as I have told you without delay, or else you too. <laughs> <laughs> I am helpless. I shall have to obey the orders of this demon. Varundev sucked the clouds out of the air and as a result, there was drought all over South India. Sage Agastya's heart was filled with sadness when he saw the situation. So to appease Lord Brahma, he decided to offer a sacrifice. Who is chanting my name? Your sacrifice has been successful, Munivar. Go ahead. What is it you desire? Greetings, Lord Brahma. My Lord, have you seen the pitiful state we are in? There isn't a single drop of water. Humans, animals, birds, plants and fruits are all being destroyed. Go immediately to Mount Kailash Munivar and seek out Lord Shankar. The Ganga flows out of the locks of his hair. He is the one who can help you in this matter. As you command, my lord. <laughs>
<laughs> hey Bushak, you've got a nice pink moustache. <laughs> will take that water and go to South India. Why don't we go too? You know Mushak, I've never been to South India before. You better ask him first whether he will take us along with him. If we ask him, he's bound to say no. We'll just follow him very quietly from behind. But I'll get exhausted if I have to walk all the way there, my lord. What a lazy <gasps> lump you are. Come on, it'll be exciting. There, the animals and birds are dying of thirst. And here Munivar has sat down to rest. I think I need some rest too. I'm tired with all that walking. Munivar seems tired too. But if he falls asleep, we will run out of time, Mushak. That's true. But what can we do about it, my lord? Mm, uh, got it. I know what we can do. You wait here and watch the fun. Oh, 
Silly bird, what have you done? You've thrown all my efforts down the drain, you demon in disguise. Ah, I'm going to curse you. Oh, Ganeshi, it's you. Forgive me, oh holy one. Time was running out and so I thought I'd make things easier for you. Take a look. Blessings be upon you. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. Please forgive me, Ganeshji. No, Muniwar. Please don't apologize. You have undertaken a mammoth task for the people of the earth. The Kaveri River shall flow like this for generations to come. Its water shall bring prosperity to all. Absolutely destroyed. I know. Listen up, listen up, friends. I will go right away. Uh, huh? I've got some amazing news. I've got a baby brother. Congratulations. Is that why you're going around distributing sweets? I'm not distributing them. I'm eating them myself. If you want some, go and ask my mother. And bring some more for me too. Uh, 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 uh. He's going to eat all of it. Ganesh ji absolutely adored and loved his younger brother Kartike. But of course, there was always a bit of brotherly squabbling between them as well. Ganeshji enjoyed leafing through the pages of the holy scriptures and he'd spend hours reading them. But Kartike enjoyed more physical pursuits. I think I have eaten a little too much. I'm feeling sleepy. All that eating is making you really lazy, brother. What are you talking about? I'm far more energetic and active than you. You understand? No way. 
My dear brother, you can never compete with me. <laughs> you have no clue how strong and powerful I am, Kartik. <laughs> Narayan, Narayan. Who's more powerful between the two brothers can only be decided by having a competition. What kind of competition, Munivar? Both of you must encircle the globe three times and return. Whoever returns first and seeks the blessing of his mother and father will be declared as the winner. Narayan, Narayan. Three times around the whole world? I think I'm going to pass out my lot. <laughs> the challenge. I do accept the challenge. Already. What do you mean? You haven't even budged from here, Ganesh. You should know the answer, Munivar. My mother and father mean the whole world to me. So if I circle them thrice, I have encircled the globe thrice. has completed the task long before you did my dear boy and he has already been declared the winner Narayan Narayan No way! I'm very sure he has played some kind of a trick No tricks at all Just intelligence Narayan Narayan Very well brother So if you really did go around the world three times Do tell me what all did you see? The seven continents, the four great rivers, the highest peak of Himalayan range and the longest river in the world, the Nile. Should I go on? Enough, enough. You win for sure. But brother, how did you manage it? By one tiny trick, should I say. But today, I have discovered that my younger brother is no less a winner than me. And actually, the real winner in today's competition is you. <laughs> Now one day, Ganeshji had a bit of an encounter with the moon. It was night time. All around the ice covered mountains were glowing in the moonlight. Come on, faster, faster, Musha. Ha 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 
Stupid mouse, why did you trip me over? It wasn't my fault really. That snake suddenly came in the way, my lord. Hmm? A thousand apologies, my lord. I was in a bit of a hurry. You dropped all my laddus. Silly creature. Mm. 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 Mr. Snake. Now you look after this for me. Now where will you run? <laughs> Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> Chubby Ganesh stuffed his belly with laddus and rolled over. <laughs> How dare you laugh at me, Chandra? I hope that shiny face of yours, that you're so proud of, gets destroyed. My lord! You will never be able to shine your light again. And whoever gazes upon you will also get scarred. No! No! Forgive me, my lord. I had no untoward intentions towards you. I was I was merely joking. Do forgive me. How will I be able to face the world with a dark face? You are known far and wide for your mercy. I throw myself at your feet, my lord. Please return my light to shine again. I am truly sorry, my lord. Please forgive me. Pardon me, my lord. Forgive me. Rise, Chandra. You yourself are a god. Making fun of someone's physical attributes does not become you at all. You are absolutely right, Lord Ganesh. I shall never make a mistake like this in the future. I'm truly sorry. Indeed, my lord. What is the use of a night without this magical moonlight? Please forgive me. God Chandra, the curse that I have placed upon you cannot be taken back completely. But I grant you a blessing that the light on your face shall disappear gradually and reappear gradually. The people of this earth shall not be deprived of your brilliant light. Thank you, my lord. I am ever so grateful to you. Check out my new bungalow and my new car. It's party time. When you've got money in your pockets, then you can't help showing off. Kubir, the god of money and wealth, did something similar to what I'm saying. What do I mean? Come along, I'll show you.
हर हर महादेव योर डिसाइपल इज एट योर सर्विस माई लॉर्ड मदर पार्वती and little ganesh greetings to you as well my lord i have brought an invitation that i'd like to present to you what invitation it would give me the greatest pleasure if you would all visit my palace and dine with me Under the pretext of inviting us to dine with him, he merely wishes to show off his wealth to us. Please accept my humble invitation, my lord. Do forgive me, my dear King Kubir, but it is impossible to leave Mount Kailash and visit you. And without my husband King Kubir, it would not be proper for me to come either. You mean I shall have to go back disappointed from the house of God? Certainly not, O King. Since you have so lovingly invited us, we must accept your invitation with gratitude. You may take little Ganesh along. He enjoys eating all kinds of delicious food. As you command, Lord Shiva. Let's go, Bal Ganesh. I take your leave, Father. Do come inside, Bal Ganesh.
Where will I get more food from? You have walloped all the food in the entire village. I'm your guest and I'm still very hungry and so it is your responsibility to satisfy my hunger. If there is no more food, then I shall eat you. Right, Mushak? <coughs> He's run away. What do I eat now? Help me, my lord. Help me. I am at your mercy, my lord. Please protect me. What is the matter, King Kubeer? Why do you seem so disturbed? My lord, I have nothing to hide from you. But your son Ganesh's hunger just cannot be satisfied. He is threatening to eat me, my lord. Come now, you are the god of money and wealth. How come you cannot appease the hunger of a mere child? I ask your pardon, my lord. To show off my wealth, I came to give you an invitation. But Lord Ganesh crushed my pride into pieces. <laughs> and all for very good reason. I think you have learnt a good lesson, King Kubeer. A man who is blessed with wealth and prosperity should be like a tree laden with fruits, but always humble and grateful. My lord, I have brought you a bowl of rice. Please help yourself. This measly bowl of rice will not be enough, but I'll eat it. 
Rice was delicious. I think I'm full now. I'm grateful to you, my lord. I think my hospitality towards my guest was not good enough. Please forgive me. Don't apologize. You can invite me again for dinner. No, forgive me, my lord. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord, hmm? Tarkasur has attacked Mount Kailash in order to challenge and defeat Kartike in a battle. Lord Shiva is also not around. What are we to do? Don't you worry. This Tarkasur shall be destroyed by the hands of our very own Kartike. During this battle, we shall stay in Kailash and offer all our support to my brother Kartike. Time has come for us to free the people of this earth from the tyranny of Tarkasur. As you command. Don't you worry, brother, about a thing. I shall now punish this man and shall free the world from his grievous sins. Can this boy challenge me, the great Tarkasul? He is so tiny, I can crush him with my fingertips. Any one of my trusted soldiers can vanquish him. <laughs> Laugh all you like, you fool. Laugh as much as you want before you face your death. Because after today, you won't be there nor your laughter. How dare you insult me, you deluded kid! Now you and your handful of soldiers will bite the dust!
many more wonderful stories from Lord Ganesh's childhood days. But for those, you shall have to wait. <laughs> <laughs>